is the Will Schreiner Show with Will's guests from the hit show New Heart Mary Fran, the real Joe Azuzu, David Leeser. Dr. Edward Abraham talks about bad backs, good sex, Ann Abernathy with an update on new consumer products, and the man behind the Rockford Files, the A-Team, and many more, Stephen J. Cannell. And now, Will Schreiner! Hi there. How are you at home today? Thanks for joining us. We've got a great show lined up for you today. You know, from time to time we get letters from all over the United States, and we decided to do a feature. It's a new feature of the show. It's a salute to one of the 50 states. And it's really been hard so far to decide which one of the great 50 states we should choose from. And then we found out that we're not on in Alaska, so we just eliminated them right away. So that leaves 49. <laughs> our executive producer over here, Charlie Calaruso, came up with the idea the fairest way to pick our state would be to, well, watch the videotape. This will show you. All of the 50 states' names have been hermetically sealed in fortune cookies. Let's watch as Will chooses one. <laughs> Whoops, that's a test run. He looks happy. Maybe it'll be your favorite state. Well, can you feel the suspense? We're not saying what it is. Don't go away. We've got a great show. We've got Joe Ozuzu, better known as David Leisure. Plus, we have Dr. Edward Abraham, who will tell us how to have good sex with a bad back. Oh, I just perked him up here in the studio. <laughs> Plus, Ann Abernathy will be here. She'll have some new consumer products we can look out for. And the man who brought us the A-Team, the Rockford Files, and many other shows, producer Stephen J. Cannell is here. Plus, from the hit show New Heart, Mary Fran. All this and our special mystery straight state uh, could be your state. There's a 50 to 1, actually a 49 to 1 chance that it'll be a state that... Uh, you live in, but it'll at least be a state that you heard of. So don't go away. We'll be right back after this, okay? Welcome back to my show. My first guest has lots of fun each week trying to operate a Vermont Inn while holding Bob Newhart together. She plays the very devoted wife, Joanna Loudon, on the TV's Newhart. Please welcome the beautiful Mary Fran. Mary. I didn't get to meet you beforehand. You just came rushing in. I just in. came rushing in. As that seems to be my style. Were you working? Oh, I would love to have that excuse. <laughs> but, you know, I, I can't lie. No, I wasn't working. Um, I'm just late. Just out playing around. Okay. <laughs> well, you, you're terrific on the show. You're Thank very you. funny on that show. It's a, a well-written show. Yes. You guys have seem to have such a great chemistry. We do, I think. Um, when I went in to audition for this and met Bob, I felt that right away. And I thought to myself, I'm sure that every other actress who's doing this is going home and saying, oh, our chemistry is great, perfect. Um, but I did feel that we had a very special chemistry, and that is something that you just can't make happen. Mm -hmm. You can like each other, and you can work well together, but you can't make a kind of, you know, chemistry happen. You, you can't, because you're supposed to be married, what, 15 years on the show? Yeah. So that, that just has to evolve, I guess. Do you find now the chemistry is even better between yes, the two of you? Yes, because it's just like a relationship in life, the more you get to know each other, the more freedom you have, the more daring yeah. you are with each other, and the more fun you have together. Now, do you get a lot of fan mail from people? Because, you know, you're very lovely. You play a very lovely woman on television. You get all the crazy people writing into you. I actually don't get very many crazy people. Uh, when I first started the show, most of my fan mail came from people who had known me from days of our lives and who were mm -hmm. very loyal. And then my fan mail has drastically changed in the last three seasons. Eighty percent of my fan mail now comes from young men, about 19 to uh, 25. And... And what are they... What... <laughs> as long as it's not crayon written, then it's... Uh... <laughs> then it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, they say, well, I never thought that I could have a crush on an older woman. And the first time I got one of these letters, I, I took it out and I said to Julia, what older woman? Mm -hmm. If I was in Disneyland. And uh, <laughs> then they, uh, they send me air, airplane tickets. Mm -hmm. They propose that sort of thing? Uh, 
uh, I have gotten a few proposals. Um, not necessarily marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will you leave Bob for me? I mean, is it that kind of... <laughs> uh, no, it's more, I know you like to stay in country inns, and uh, one, one fellow wrote me and said, uh, I really can't afford to take you to a country inn, so I was, I was thinking we could use my parents' guest house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought, can't you just see it as I show up? Hi. Yeah, my parents got rid of the guest house. Oh! <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, Anyways, it's very flattering. Yeah. It, I'm sure it is. I mean, it's, we, we, haven't, we don't get a lot of mail on this show. Nobody really writes to me at all. Oh. Nobody. Oh, maybe, maybe. A sympathy, a sympathy no, I'm just vote kidding. here. So now you're back. Eight is enough is the big reunion. Eight is apparently yes. not enough because they're bringing it back for a reunion. Well, uh, I did do that television <laughs> movie, that's true, um, over the hiatus, mm -hmm. my hiatus, and uh, it was a fabulous experience. I was must it? Say. Yes, it really was. Um, I mean, it's such a popular show. Yes. Do they feel the pressure there. How can we recreate it? Is it going to be as well? Good I think as what happened to that group is that the show went off the air without any notice to them. Mm -hmm. So uh, when this came up, they were all thrilled, and they uh, NBC uh, Brandon Tartikoff asked me to do it along with the creative people. I liked the script, mm -hmm. and so I marched in and did it, and I liked the people enormously. Yeah. We have a scene. We have a little scene. Do you know, does this need any setup? This is at the uh, very end. We have given a surprise party for Dick Van Patten. I have gotten all the family there. And it's toward the end of the party, and I am sort of uh, making a little speech or giving a toast to the rest of the gang. Okay. It's time for me to give my present to Tom. So, Ashley, it's not just from me. It's from Tommy and me. See, I sort of came late to the Bradford family. And you were all there, in place, growing, learning, fighting. And there were a lot of times that I, I wondered if I was up to it. Maybe I'd gotten in over my head. But then after a while, I, I learned that raising a family isn't a dead end. It's a staircase goes on and on, higher than the eye can see. And that when you kids are on that staircase, somehow, magically, you take us with you. Every step of the way. That's another side of you seeing the dramatic. Thank you. Nice dramatic side of you. I do think it's important to constantly uh, be showing people both in this particular industry and also um, the people, you know, who are at home watching, who are really the most important, the, the uh, viewers, that you do this and you are able to do yeah. that. You mm -hmm. can do comedy, uh, you're able to do drama. Mm -hmm. Because that's, to me, what being an actress is all about. Sure, showing them a range. You want to keep them guessing what you do best. That's my motto. I don't do anything yeah. well. That way I do a lot of things. You do a lot of things well. You do, do this me, show very do well. Do me one favor, though. Tell Adam Rich, get a haircut. Get a haircut? Uh, <laughs> way out of hand. So, you wouldn't want to tell him that yourself. You just asked me to tell <laughs> yeah, him just that. Pass oh, that okay, fine. Thank you. Now, we have a little treat for you. Your, your mother is in town yes. visiting, right? Your mother's name is Del Lukey. Yes. Uh, Del, are you here? Del, is Del here in the audience? My mother's here for, to celebrate her birthday. Del? <laughs> Del? Is this Del? Hi, Del. Do you want to come down? Does, Thank you. Does Mary bring you on the show with her wherever she goes? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a surprise. Did you know she was here? I knew she was here. Yes. I hope Thank so. You. Thank you. Thank She's you. been calling from the airport for three days now. <laughs> Mary, why you haven't checked me out? Please, Mary, come on. I'm your mother. That's M O. Now, Dell, you live where? In St. Louis. In St. Louis. Uh -huh. so, so you're just out here. You having a nice time just visiting on your vacation, daughter? Vacation, yes, enjoying it. Are you proud of uh, how Mary's Extremely. doing? Extremely. Do you watch her all the time, or do you watch something else every once in a while? Crazy question. <laughs> well, what was Mary like as a child? Was she uh... oh, very it's, wonderful, very easy? Uh huh. Worked very hard to get where she is today. She's in fact, she's accomplished it all by herself. Sure. That's just the way we did it at home, yeah. mother. That was great. <laughs> it really was, and it had 
naturalness? This is a total shock to me. I learned so much about you, though. I mean, you know, getting to read, you were, you were a junior miss. Yes. Um, when mm -hmm. you won that, uh, was that, did your mom push you into that, or is that... Uh, you no, uh, no pushing on my side. No, never. I never had a stage mother uh, or a stage dad, which was absolutely great. They always believe you can do whatever you want to do, but please know that it's going to take a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. And how many in your family altogether? Four. Four. Four children. Four girls? Uh, no. One brother and uh, three, three girls. Oh. And all of the daughters live out in Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah. So, let's just check with mom. Is that right? <laughs> uh -oh. You know what that music means? You know what that music means? Mary, you and your mom, it's a very lucky day to be here today. It's our very first state day. Yes, today on the Will Schreiner Show, it's Missouri Day. It's dispensed with too much, but today is Missouri Day. Missouri is famous for a lot of things. Did you know that? Mark Twain, uh, the Cardinals, and it's the largest city, St. Louis there. Yes, that's where you're from, that's right, Dale? Right. Right. Uh -huh. There are over two and a half million people living in this city. And some of them live in this little neighborhood across from Tower Grove Park. In fact, some of them live right here at 3905 Hartford Street. <laughs> yes, Mary, it's you and your sister. Yeah. Oh, no. And the only known photograph of two people doing the hokey pokey. Uh, no. Did you see that all right? Well. There it is. We'll give you one more chance that's to see cute. it. Let's I see that hokey it. pokey yeah, at its great. best. Yeah. Okay, but th that's not all. To oh, make you gosh, feel at I home, we've got more. We've got much, much more. <laughs> oh, no. A couple of St. Louis Cardinals there. There you go. This, this is our first Tampa of State Day. Here it is. The state flag of Missouri right there. This is really quite an honor. Do you know what the state bird is? Let's see how well you know your state. The state bird is a cardinal. No, it's the bluebird. The bluebird. The bluebird. This is the state bird. And it's having an identity crisis about the cardinals being named the team. Mary, you're not the only famous person from Missouri, no. Did you know that? There's a couple of other people, like Kathleen Turner. She's from Missouri. Okay, not she's not all. Do you know who else is from Missouri? Walt Disney. Yes. Yep. Hey. Walter Cronkite. Right. Yeah. Right? Chuck, Chuck Berry. Berry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Don Johnson. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby. And this little gal here. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is Mary trying out for well, Willard well, Scott's well. job. Thank you so much. Well. <laughs> this is Mary. I don't know what I've had. I don't know why I've had more fun, really. <laughs> Apparently there seems to be a little cold front coming in here. <laughs> Did you, well, you, now you are a weather girl when? Oh, well, really? How nice of you to bring that up. Huh? Well, really. well, well, well. Uh, okay, that's yes, not all. We have a clip here. Oh. This is something that people sent what? from St. Louis. This no. A, watch, I don't even know what it is. Watch the video. Oh, God, here. no, this isn't happening. This document... Uh, carries the weight of law in the city of St. Louis, and we pay tribute in it to Mary Fran and to the program that will be presenting her and the story of Missouri. And we have therefore dedicated and declared by proclamation that this is the Will Schreiner Day in the city of St. Louis. It's because of you, Mary. <laughs> We're missing the parade. Are you missing the parade for the Will Schreiner Day? Will Schreiner Day. It's, it's not a big turnout. There's oh, two people there. Oh, is there like a blow-up of you on a float? <laughs> it's a big celebration, and what better way to celebrate with a couple of White Castle hamburgers? Oh, yeah, your favorite. You miss those. These you don't get those back great. home anymore. These are great. I used to have these all the time. And how about this? A little jello mold from the state of Missouri. <laughs> How oh, nice. it's leaping. There's, uh, uh, this is Jefferson, the capital of the city, and there's Tom and Huck on the raft. And, very uh, nice. Here's the famous St. Louis Arch here. I understand they're building one with hamburger stand underneath it. That's uh, <laughs> kind of a good idea. It's just hilarious. This was our, our first attempt at a state day, and since you were from and Missouri, we thought brilliant. it would be I, a tribute to you. So. I really do. I, I, the Jello thing was particularly very moving to me. Would you like one? That was, that was particularly... Oh, I, you're going to be I that way. Here, have, a, really have, have a the bite. Southwest Park. <laughs> Well, would you care for a particular part of the state? Is there any what part of the state? Which which part of the state would you prefer? We can get See, something out of the north. The downtown area. I don't. <laughs> well, oh, we'll give you my. a little. Oh, well, well, wonderful. Anyway, you guys were great to play well, along. What a great, great honor. Thank you so honor. much for being here. Thank you. Good luck with eight is enough. Bill, have a nice yeah. day while you're here. I want to thank the great state of Missouri. We'll be right back with a little more of the show. And remember, any state could be your state. My salute to a state day. We'll be right back. Don't go away.